Welcome guys. In this video, I want to talk to you about the external storage solution. So having an external storage solution is very convenient to offload your excess data or archive your old data. Next to that, if you have capable and fast used before with NVMe drive inside enclosure, it would also allow you to work efficiently with massive amounts of data and perhaps in some situations even boot from it and work if it's a uh, an internal drive on your computer. And finally, having all that in an enclosure that also keeps your drive running cool and efficient is the best possible combination. That's why in this video, I will review this enclosure from Grau Gear. This is a solidly built, small, used before NVMe enclosure that also has a unique cooling capabilities in the form of these heat pipes and the small fan. So let's dive right into it. First of all, I want to say thanks to Grau Gear for sending this uh, unit to me for review. They also sent me this dual NVMe uh, station with uh, clone capabilities, but I will review it in another video. So if you're interested, browse my channel or wait until the end of this video to click on the link uh, over there. And now let's go back to this uh, enclosure. So first of all, uh, let's quickly talk about what you will find in this very nice little box. Uh, in there, you will find, of course, the enclosure uh, itself, the USB 4 uh, cable, the little screwdriver that allows you to open the enclosure and secure the hard drive inside, the thermal pad for the SSD NVMe drive, uh, and of course, the warranty and the instruction set. The enclosure itself is quite sturdy. It's made from the aluminum alloy and it's heavy, but in a good way. In terms of width, it's twice as small as my other Satechi enclosure and it's almost the same uh, size and, and thickness. So you can probably fit it in any backpack or any bag that you carry around, uh, which is quite nice. The real difference though, is how Grau Gear implemented the cooling for this enclosure. Once you open it with the provided screwdriver, you will see the copper heat pipes that run along the inner side of the enclosure up to this outer side that you see right now, finishing at this 30 millimeter fan. And the installation is very simple. Once you open the enclosure with the provided screwdriver, you need to put the thermal pad on the SSD drive, put the SSD drive in the correct place, secure it with the provided screw, uh, put the cover back on and put the four screws back in the enclosure. And there you have it. You're good to go. Now let's see how it actually performs. I uh, compared these two enclosures. So my own Satechi uh, NVMe enclosure versus the Grau gear to see whether there would be any differences in speed. And of course the temperatures because of the fan. I used the same Western digital 850 X. Uh, which is a very capable, efficient, and speedy uh, SSD, NVMe SSD drive. Uh, for Grau Gear, I also tried to use this uh, Crucial P3 SSD, which is a class lower than the Western Digital, but then I still wanted to see whether I will see the difference if I, if I use it in the external enclosure. All right, so let's start with a speed comparison. For speed comparison, for speed testing, I basically used two things. I used the Blackmagic Disk uh, software to test and benchmark the drives when they were attached and um, are, were in the enclosures. And I used the uh, file transfers. So I had one folder with a 20 gigabyte and another folder with 102 gigabytes. Both folders contained a variety of files. I basically just took my projects, uh, a lot of uh, photos and videos inside and uh, shuffled them around, throw, threw them uh, in the drives and measured the speed there. On their official marketing images, um, Grow Gear promises 3700 megabytes per second for reads and 3600 megabytes per second for writes. 
Um, as you can see in Blackmagic uh, benchmark testing, I didn't really uh, reach those numbers and there is a variety of factors there, but I probably think it's because of the drive I used. As you can see, the I reached around 3100 for writes and 3000 megabytes per second for reads, uh, which was very similar to the performance that I could get from the uh, Satechi enclosure. And I think this is because of the Western Digital SN850X uh, NVMe, and this is just the limiting factor there. At the same time, I think those speeds are blazingly fast already. Crucial P3 uh, performed fast, but of course not as fast as Western Digital. My assumption was that since Crucial uh, promises up to 5, uh, uh, 50, 100 uh, megabytes per second for reads, then um, this wouldn't be a limiting factor. And given that the enclosure, uh, enclosure numbers are still below that, I could hit the similar numbers to the Western Digital, uh, but unfortunately it didn't. Now onto the uh, data transfer test. So I dropped the folders um, on the drive and then timed how much time it would take to finish uh, the transfer. And as you can see from the charts, Grau Gear performed quite well, both with SN850X uh, from Western Digital and Crucial P3, or, or, although Crucial was a bit slower. But also for those amounts of data, so for 20 gigabytes or 102 gigabytes, um, that is still quite a remarkable performance. Below a minute for um, 102 gigabytes, even for a crucial P3, uh, although it was a slower drive, I think it's really cool to see uh, those numbers. All right, that was for the speed comparison. And of course, uh, used before, NVMe drive inside, we kind of expected uh, good and efficient performance from the enclosure. Now let's talk about the temperature capabilities. To measure the temperature of the enclosure and the drives, I uh, went two ways. First, I used the TG Pro on macOS to gather the information about the temperature from the drive itself. And I used this handy FLIR camera to measure the temperature of the enclosure when it was uh, outside. Let's start with the idle temperature. First of all, of course, idle temperature depends on a variety of factors. What you do with the drive, whether it works or, uh, or not, um, what is the temperature around you. For example, in my room, it's around 20 degrees Celsius. Um, however, even, even with that in mind, if you look at the differences between the idle temperatures of both internal drive and the enclosure, you can clearly see uh, how well ahead the Grau gear enclosure is compared to the full aluminum uh, Satechi enclosure. But idle temperatures are not that interesting, as I said, uh, because we mostly want to know how the drive performs under load and what would be the temperatures under intensive workflow. And to test that, I used copies of the same 20 gigabytes and 102 gigabytes folders and I repeatedly thrown them onto the drive and deleted them for about 15 minutes to see how the temperatures of the drives and the enclosures would rise and where they would stay. And I would say that this test really showed uh, the difference between the uh, two enclosures. So first we start with the uh, Satechi encl enclosure. It's full aluminum. Uh, there is no um, uh, there is no way how the heat can escape it uh, apart for dissi uh, dissipation of the heat through the aluminum uh, surface. And under the intense load, the temperature of the internal drive went really quickly to 61 degree and the external casing was around uh, 40, uh, 41 degree. But now what about the Grau gear? Well, the Grau gear uh, performed again uh, better than uh, Satechi one. Uh, first of all, the temperature of the internal drive went up to 52 degrees and the enclosure at the same time was kept on the 32. And of course, the enclosure, I measured the most uh, bright spots, as you can see on the flare footage. So the ones where which were the hottest. So those are remarkable results, almost uh, 10 degrees difference between having a fan and not having a fan. Um, and then, of course, your mileage may vary. There are many factors here. As I said, I have around 20 degrees Celsius in the room. Uh, 
uh, right now, so it's not that hot. I probably would be different numbers if I were sitting in the 30 uh, degree room. Um, the My testing methodology was a little bit um, hacky. Uh, and of course, if I would run it for hours, the numbers perhaps would be different as well. However, uh, for normal use, for day-to-day -day tasks, I think uh, my uh, testing methodology is pretty accurate. And I would say 10 degrees difference, um, make it worth. So in a nutshell, this uh, 10 degrees difference comes be because of the just the copper uh, heat pipes and this little 30 millimeter fan. And uh, this 30 millimeter fan, I wasn't really impressed by the look of it because it's kind of tiny, but looking at the numbers, I uh, changed my mind. I think it's a very small but mighty fan uh, that makes a huge difference. Speaking about the fan, uh, it's super silent. It just runs continuously. I don't think there is any control uh, and there is no possibility to switch it on and off, um, but it doesn't matter because it's virtually silent. I never heard it uh, even when I tried to hear it uh, with my ear uh, up to it. It's, it's virtually silent, really. And I want to include a small clip over here so you can hear it uh, for yourself. So that's the sound that it, it makes. Um, virtually no sound. probably hear a lot of ambient sound right now from the room where I'm sitting, but I hear my laptop, but I don't hear this drive. So pretty silent, guys. So what else can I say about this enclosure? Uh, there is something that I think can be improved, and that is this small screwdriver. Uh, you use it to open the enclosure and secure the NVMe drive inside. Um, it's a hex uh, type of the screwdriver and the screws. I don't have an alternative for it in my iFixit kit with my uh, screwdrivers. I think that if I lose it, I'm in a big trouble. And for example, the Satechi enclosure, you can you could have just uh, you can just slide it off and and it, and it will open. Um, and you don't know, you don't need any tools to install the NVMe drive inside. Um, so I wish the Grau Gear just used the Phillips screws in. They they are available, and everybody has uh, screwdrivers for them. Um, but apart from that, I'm really impressed. I think this is a nice, small, you can fit it anywhere uh, enclosure. It is super fast. The provided cable is also uh, nice and long um, and it has amazing cooling performance that will allow your uh, drives to run cool and efficient. So that's about it. Again, thanks Grau Gear for sending me this review unit. And as for you viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.